What's up, Black Cat Nation? We're here to preview the Huddersfield game, which is tonight. Um, I'll be doing a live commentary on SAFC Fan TV, so make sure you join me on there. Um, but Huddersfield tonight, interesting one. Lost 2-1 to them last time we faced them in November. Um, they are 21st in the league, but their home form's not all that bad. They've not lost a home game since the 29th of December. And their last home game, they beat Sheffield Wednesday 4-0. Um, they did just lose to Southampton. However, they were like 2-0 up, I believe, at the start. So that's a good comeback from Southampton. But whether we can do the same, I don't know. So we just can't let them get to that. So we can't go into this one taking anything for granted. That's a cert. I need to make sure everything's on point. Um, I believe Beal will probably go out with a similar squad that he started with last week um, in fear of making too many changes that he loses the game and people criticise him for that. But we will need to rest some players, but maybe that's why Job started on the bench. Um, how I think we should or will go out, I'll put up on the screen now. Um, Patterson's cut off, he's at the bottom, he's in goal There's nothing changed there, obviously We've got Pembele on the right Ballard, 9 and Hjelda on the left Then through the middle, it'd be Dan Neal in the holding midfield The formations are limited on this, so it's just five across But it'd be Dan Neal in the holding midfield And then you've got Jack Clark on the left Pierre Aqua and Roberts in the centre, and Mundell on the right. Like to see some game time minutes for him. Obviously, got Barr on the bench as an option there. I'd also have Rusin rest for this one, like Bellingham did. And I'd like to see Bellingham used as a lone striker because we seem to be determined to go with this solo striker role, but I don't think Rusin is suited to it. Personally, I'd love to see two up front, um, but. I don't think we're quite there yet, and I don't think it's something that Beal would do. But if he's going to experiment with the formation, when you're playing against somebody who's 21st, it should be the time. But nothing can be taken for granted. Like I say, I'll be doing the live match commentary tonight on SAFC Fan TV. Um, I don't know if it's just going to be me or if I'll be joined by someone. But either way, I'll try and keep you up to date the best I can. And I will do a post-game review on this channel, my prediction for this one is a 3-0 win to Sunderland. Clean sheet, well-deserved, and Patterson making up for his mistakes in the last game. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, guys. It's really appreciated, and I'll see you all in the next video.